Jobetin, renowned for gangsterism, murder and housebreaking. The city of Matlosana local municipality took a resolution four years ago to build a community sports complex. This would have been replete with netball courts, soccer fields and volleyball courts. The aim to take young children off the streets and unearth new talent. But not came from the well-intended project. The contractor abandoned the project when he was not paid. When the money was finished, he had to stop because the money was in short. So now, after stopping everything, it was just a blind. So we, we could not continue. So we've been trying to get to the bottom of what is happening. But we, since it has been a thing of litigation between municipality and the contract, but at the end of the day, it pains it is coming to a standing behind me or in front of me to get the benefit of their money. The structure has since been vandalized by the community and graffiti representing different gangs in the area painted on the walls. The community says it has become a heaven for criminals. Always. There's always people crying, especially during the day and at night. Young people are learning how to smoke drugs here, including marijuana. You are no, no, I don't have a ground with our heart. No, so we want council or government to help us to have our own ground here in our heart. The municipality says the contractor has been fully paid and they have now started litigations against him. The total amount that was paid by the time the contractor abandoned site was in the region of about 14 million. Now, what is happening is that the, the difference in terms of the com completion of the work was about 3.4 million. So the reason why we are dragging them to court is we want to claim damages of about 8,970,000 that, well, that we believe that that money belongs to the municipality. The municipality says once the matter has been finalized in court, they will appoint a new contractor to complete the project. Zeblon Maine, SABC News, Jobetin.